Hey guys, so I have just picked up my prescription for my antidepressants. Depressants? Anti the presents, it sounds like. Um, uh, my mum recently found out that I can get my uh, pills for cheaper at Chemist Warehouse. Um, so normally I would pay like upwards between $18 to like $40 for my pills. And now I get them for $6.10. $6.10. That's so good. I don't have any tablets are in there. 30 tablets, 30 tablets for $6.10. That is so good. Um, I just went to the post office to see, because um, I've, I know some people are saying that they've sent me some things and I haven't received them yet. I went to the post office and there's nothing in my PO box, so I'm not sure what's going on there. They did recently renovate the whole post office, so I'm wondering whether they've like misplaced things. And next time I go in, I'll like ask them to like triple check um, but they were really busy and the ladies seemed really stressed at the time so I didn't want to like, you know they, They're really like they seem really strict You know when you meet like a really strict older woman and she just you can just tell she's not gonna budge That's what happened, but I did receive um, Some really cool fabric which I'll show you guys later, uh, but it's like well, actually, I can show you now. It's like mermaid skin fabric, it's in like a bluey pinky Pattern. I don't know why I bought it, but maybe I can make some stuff with it. Uh, what else did I want to talk about really quickly? I think I haven't addressed anything that's been going on with me and my mental illness and all that sort of thing for a while. Um, honestly, I found that, that no longer like talking about all the bad stuff about the mental illness actually helped me a lot because what I was doing was dwelling on all the negative stuff. I was like reporting about it and telling you guys about it and I feel like I was making it so like embedded in my head that this is what I have and this is what I'm going through um, and so honestly when I just started focusing on the positives I felt so much better and I feel a lot better I don't know whether this medicine is helping um, it's technically Zoloft but this is what the actual um, medication is called uh, I don't know if that helps anyone. Like it's still, it's the same as Zoloft, but it's not the actual Zoloft brand. I'm out of focus. Um, and also I've been taking uh, melatonin pills. So if anyone wants to see what they are, that's what I've been taking. One pill um, a couple hours before I want to go to sleep and it makes me drowsy and I fall asleep. So I have a good night's sleep and I, I found that that's helping. Also, it's summer now and the sun is amazing. I'm gonna put my aircon on. Um, so that could be helping as well. The beautiful weather, going to Sydney, you know, going to the beach. Weather is incredible right now. So I, it could just be that all the things combining are helping me. Um, and maybe I was just going through seasonal, uh, seasonal type of depression. Having said that, I do still have massive bouts of anxiety every now and then. Um, I just think that goes with the territory. You can't, uh, you can't have, I feel like you can't really be cured from having depression and anxiety. You can make every day better and you can feel better, yes, but I don't feel like you can completely eradicate the anxiety because it still flares up. I have like, like what we call OCD tendencies um, because I am such a like, when I'm packing, for example, when I'm packing a suitcase, I need everything to be perfect in the suitcase. And if something is out, I get angry and stressed about it. And it, you know, it's really weird. Um, I don't know if that's like a, like I don't want to self-diagnose myself, but I do know that when things aren't neat, when things aren't going perfectly my way, I have like an anxiety attack and it's like, it needs, everything needs to be neat and perfect. And, and it's really weird. Um, and I do know that it doesn't need to be neat and perfect you know I do know the logic that everything's cool if it's messy but my brain just goes nah I need everything like this or I'm not going to be okay and that's where I'm like I think I have OCD tendencies but I'm not sure um, and the nail biting thing is another thing that people have said is um, that I've read articles about uh, being an OCD tendency thingy so that's me um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm okay everything's been going really well um, as you guys know, Dan is obviously, he's staying until February and that is, I think that's lifted a lot of my, uh, worries as well is knowing that he's going to stay longer because literally it was like a day or two or 
a couple days before he was going to leave and then he surprised me and said he was staying and I just was like, oh, relief. Um, I've been going to yoga. Um, so yoga has been helping. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. Uh, I feel like this was overdue. I feel like you guys have been waiting for me to talk about this. So I feel like I had to get it off my chest. I'm going to shut up now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll see you when I get home. I got a big present box from my mum. From it's got your address on it. You spoop. You Look spoop. It, is. it says. It says. It says. It says. Okay. It's the focus, focus potato. Focus potato. Right. I got a box from my mum for Christmas. Uh, hopefully, it's full of treats. It says Christmas, right? Cool. Christmas? Not like, yeah, Christmas. Yeah, landing. Oh, and so oh, the first one is she wow. got me a lovely little, little frilly. No, this must be for you. A <laughs> lovely little frilly. No, this is yours. That's for me. <laughs> That's oh, obviously for you. What you get, so Luna? What you get? What you get? What you get? Well, this looks like a little makeup purse. Or purse. <gasps> yes, Christmas earrings. You got Christmas, Christmas earrings. Christmas earrings. Thank you, Kathleen. Oh my God, I love Christmas earrings. And the little, little stockings. Little stockings. Reindeer stockings. And this gorgeous little purse. How cute is it? So oh. cute. It must be Christmas cards. I'm gonna read them. For a wonderful son with love at Christmas. Mm. That looks so good up there. And this is one that says Daniel and Luna. Ooh, joint Daniel card. And Luna. Because we're in a relationship. Joint cards. Please excuse my face. I haven't got any makeup on. Across the miles to Australia at Christmas. Oh my God, that's like. Though we are miles apart, we're always close in mind and heart. Oh my God, this and is like a beautiful little Robin. A specific card. Oh, to Robin. to Daniel and Luna. Have the most wonderful Christmas in the sunshine. Lots of hugs and kisses. From. Aww. That's a so beautiful precious. card. Wow, thank you so much. It's so appropriate too, oh, like man. the These whole Christmas awesome. in Australia thing. I didn't know they made cards, cards that said that. Well, there's enough Irish over here to really kind of justify that. Yeah, that it. makes sense. Okay, so... I... <gasps> what the heck? That is the cutest! That is the cutest thing! Look at it! Wags and purrs. Wags and Purrs toys, and she's got look a little Santa clip. Wait, is that for Scott? Can you get that little Santa clip in there? Wait for it. Wait, is that for Ella? Well, it's hardly for me, so you better read it, hey. Is that for Ella? Well, he, it's got little Santa clips, little Santa pegs. Oh my pegs. God, I'm gonna cry! Little, little, little Santa pegs. All right, okay, the Santa pegs are adorable. Hang on, hang on. Look at that. Santa pegs. <gasps> I'm gonna take the peg off. Merry Christmas, Ella. I love Kathleen. This is the cutest. Oh, she gets a present. She gets a Christmas penguin. That is the cutest <laughs> thing. Oh. Yeah, there's this one as well. Which Ooh. came with another card. What? Ooh, what's that? Ooh, Kathleen. <laughs> this one is for me. Because I'm the number one elf. Oh, that's hey. so cute. <laughs> holy, holy heck. And then we got three packs of socks. Which I assume are for you, darling, because they're, they're not my color. So I assume I that love these socks. are your socks. This is so cool. And I assume that these are my socks. Yes! I socks. socks. I love socks. I actually I need I socks, funnily socks. enough. I'm How socks appropriate. Themed. I like the spotty ones particularly. They're cute. That's awesome. Three. Aww, Ella's going to be so happy with a little penguin. <laughs> I love that she's got a squishy penguin. It's so cute. Oh, thank you guys. We will treasure thank this stuff. Thank you. Oh, I hope we're not in trouble for opening it before Christmas. <laughs> I'm sorry if we're meant to wait for Christmas. We're just too excited. So I was doing a little bit of Christmas decorating and then I decided that this needed to come off the wall, which has been up over there above the fridge for like ever. And I'm uh, using this little tuna that I bought myself. And I also bought one for Damie for her birthday. There it is, and just seeing how how handy it is, because like this doesn't have, it's not electrical. This uh, obviously, this ukulele has no electrical input or anything like that. But you can just attach that, and you can tune it, and it's very handy. I made this guitar myself, so I mean, I didn't make the guitar, but like it had no strings, and it was pink when I got it, and then I painted it, and I strung all, it all myself. So it's probably not very good. I mean, like I painted the inside; it was supposed to be a decorative ukulele but I thought it might be fun so then you turn it off 
How do I turn it off? Like that. Oh, it's so handy. Damie, let me know if you've been using yours and if you like it or not, because I that's pretty cool. <laughs> this is all just paint. Like this this ukulele was from an op shop, so it probably doesn't play very well. Anyway, so I've just tuned it up and now I'm gonna learn how to play because I don't know how to play ukulele. I'm using this website called ukucords.com if anyone is interested. Uh, complete ukulele chord chart. Okay, so Oh, this is really confusing. So if I want to play an A, uh, just a normal A, please. Oh, this is really like this website is really intense. Okay, so an A is is this. Sorry, this and this. This thing's already gone out of tune within the two seconds that I just tuned you. Hey, schmoop. Why have you got your camera? <laughs> got something for you. This looks so Bear, what is this? It's a Christmas present. Happy Christmas. It's happy, Christmas happy Christmas. Yet. Happy Christmas. Is I it? know it's not Christmas yet, but there's a reason why you have to open that now. Okay. <laughs> Christmas. Alright, I'm just gonna leave this here. Oh. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait, whoa. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you sure I have to open this now? Okay. You have to open this now. What is it? Boo! No! Boo! No, boo! Really? We're going to the beach this week, so you need a GoPro for the water. Yeah! Weather good for a while, so you need now. Boo! Thank you. You're welcome. Can I miss me? What do you mean, miss me? Mm. I have a GoPro. Well, you said you wanted one. Yeah, I didn't actually think I would get one. <laughs> oh wow! I'm just in disbelief. Like what? Thank you, Bill. Oh my God! I have, I have a GoPro. I have a. <laughs> Let's go to the beach right now. <laughs> Thank you. I thought you were being quite weird and suspicious, though. Like while I was doing this, like, you kept running in and out of the bedroom, and I was like, what is he doing? I'm always running in and out of the bedroom. Hey? I'm always running in and out of the bedroom. No, but like, you were just, it was like, you were running, like, it was like an urgent thing. Oh, whoa, explosions. Go, bro. You dropped your get started manual. <laughs> either. But I thought it would be cute. It's ruining the ambience of the room. Mm, you know what? I got an idea. Finally found our tea lights. I'm not even going to talk about how stupid it was. They were on top of where I'd been looking about 10,000 times. I honestly feel like they were misplaced and then put back where they belonged so that I would find them and feel stupid. Anyway, let's light these bad boys. Why do they look so red in my camera? They're actually gold. My camera's weird. Anyway, let me put them up here. Nice and pretty. I feel like we need more. I should have bought more of those. See, it looks nice. Oh, I should have bought more. Damn it. Ignoring the fact that there's a microphone stand in the middle of the room. It's 
some little candle bits and pieces and our blind isn't down because the grass is growing behind it oh yeah and I don't want to I don't want it to get hurted I've still got a lot that I want to do um, I want to wrap up some fake presents and put them under the tree and around the house just to give it more of that sort of Christmassy vibe our room is the least Christmassy though because the house is nice and glowing and warm and inviting as I would like it but our bedroom I'm not going to show you too much because it's a mess because we just got home we haven't unpacked yet it's so sterile like I feel really weird being in here so that might be my next mission is to create some cute little Christmassy things in here I just really want Dan to uh, feel Christmassy because it's it's not that Christmassy here compared to what I've experienced. I'm trying to replicate that in this house as best I can. And um, yeah. Christmas tackle! Ah! We're in the suitcase. We're in the suitcase. Oh, okay. Do you like the decorations, Boo? I love it. I have makeup on because Dan and I were going to shoot a video. I don't know if it's happening anymore. It's still going to happen. I hope it is. Um, but Dan's made delicious tuna pasta for dinner and we're going to put on Vlogmas, Zoella, Vlogmas and Alfie because I, let's be honest, I'm obsessed. We're obsessed with them. They're like, they are goals. And I just realized I didn't end the vlog last night. So this is me then the morning after ending the vlog. We didn't end up filming the video, we're going to film it today. I had a huge panic attack, it was a great time, so all my makeup went down my face. It was a waste of makeup, it was a waste of makeup. Um, I'm okay now, I'm just a bit swollen, my eyes are a bit puffy from, uh, from, yes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I just wanted to end the vlog and say I'll see you tomorrow, even though technically it's today. Anyway, <laughs> I'll talk to you soon.